were all three of you aware of our problems at the annex over the weekend? We were talking about the I uh, had some pictures taken of some of the damages. I, I'm not real sure when it happened, uh, sometime after 4 o'clock on Friday. I told you a lot of, Rick, a lot of times when I did that work, you know, somebody bangs against the tank and cracks. Mm -hmm. But this, I mean, there was no sign that uh, the tank was disturbed in any way, but according to the plumber, he said it's not unusual for thunder to vibrate enough to the building enough to crack that night. Which uh, restroom? It's uh, back there in the nurses. Oh, okay. On, in that hallway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if we've got some stuff so the floor and then went down below. Through the ceiling and it really did a lot of damage in the Department of Corrections. Um, I've got a couple. Our insurance adjuster came right away, or not the adjuster, our agent came in right away Saturday night. We had some people down there. We went and got uh, two of those uh, rug doctors, vacuumed up all of what water we could, and, and uh, moved all the junk out of there, the wet stuff. That, uh, we had a lot of things stored in cardboard boxes, and by things I mean paper products. So it was about three truckloads of junk that we had to get rid of. Our paper products or someone else's? Uh, some was Department of Corrections, some was E911, some was Public Health Nurse, some was uh, you guys maintenance or uh, emergency management. Uh, Jane Wilhelm's, uh, I can never say what agents she's New outfit. New, new outfit, yeah, baby uh, boutique. Yeah, the baby boutique okay. things. There was a lot of that stuff that was in there. So we've got some carpets that um, we just literally removed. Uh, we've got some upstairs that we want the adjuster to look at before we do anything with. We think they should probably be replaced. He may have a different opinion of that. But, um, right now we're kind of at a standstill until we can start putting some of that stuff back together. And I mean, the, the place is a shambles over there with things that we could salvage. We've got up on tables and counters. And it's, but after the meeting or while we're waiting for the engineer, maybe we can walk over there. Okay. Take a look. Um, what's, when do you expect the adjuster and when will they the adjuster said he'd be here between 11 o'clock and noon today. today. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and I, I fully expect to keep going on this project. There's this yesterday morning when we went in there. We had Chuck and Mark, myself, uh, my wife, and two other people were there Saturday night moving stuff and, and getting the water sucked up as best we could. Um, Monday morning you could smell the mildew already, so it's it's going to be nasty. We tried to call Service Master in Storm Lake, and he just suggested that we find somebody else because he was too busy. So, so what were your options then? Well, Mark was going to try and get a hold of the Service Master in Carroll, and from there. I guess I haven't talked to him about that, but some of the, the heavier damaged carpets we just literally removed. And, but we had, you know, over there in that basement, there's a concrete <coughs> lined room that we use as a vault. And the treasurer's office had old records in there, the clerk court had some, the recorder had some. Uh, they were all notified, of course, and, and what was ruined, we got rid of, and what we could move and replace or relocate, we've done that. So it's just pretty much a mess. Um, I, I guess the 
the good part of the situation is it's water under pressure, so that yeah, they shouldn't have any yeah, insurance. There, he didn't indicate problems. that there would be any problems when, when I sh And I called, well, Larry Payton was our agent, and he came down Saturday night and looked at it. And uh, I got as many pictures as we could. And so, and it was fortunate because somebody from DHS was working Saturday afternoon late and heard water running and um, called the comm center and the comm center called the shop for more. Um, so we were able to... Yeah, I could have ran off the weekend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 24 hours. Yeah, that's plenty. <laughs>